How's it going everyone? My name is Gingium and welcome back to some Forza Motorsport 6 for another car pack. Today we are in the 2011 Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, which is pretty much an old hot rod and this thing looks so gorgeous. It's got a big skull holding two lights and look at those tires. That's what I can't get over with like those meaty tires. Ugh, and it's so low. It's so awesome. I mean, in general, this car pack is just so sick. It added two Hot Wheels cars, which were both crazy. It added a Camaro, a Ford Focus RS, and a couple other ones, but oh my god. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are too. Today we are going to be doing a drag build of this car, maybe a wheelie too. We'll see. Guys, real quickly, go ahead, post a comment which car you want next and what kind of build you want me to do. I'm thinking maybe a Ford Focus Generation Battle and a Camaro Drag build, maybe? I don't know. But, let's get started. Alright, so, it actually looks like we've got quite a quite a lot of stuff we can do to this car, which is cool. Um, we can swap the drivetrain to all-wheel drive. Okay, we don't want to do that. Um, we do have a V8 in here. I don't know exactly what kind of V8. I guess let's just go ahead and fully upgrade the power. I mean, we are doing a drag build, and we're making 402 horsepower now, which isn't bad, considering we weigh almost nothing, 2,000 pounds. Um, however, I don't think we're going to get much power. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I figure it's kind of an older engine, and usually older engines in this game don't upgrade quite as well. However, it actually doesn't look like we're doing too bad. I mean... All right, I'm not too disappointed with that. We made it to 606 horsepower and 530 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, the power band looks nice and even. It looks like it's a good power band. There's no turbo lag or anything, so that should be good. Let's just try to cut down on that weight, uh, I guess. Oh, mm, we can't. Oh. What the? <laughs> Look at the, the roll cages on the outside. <laughs> um, so it actually says that it makes my acceleration better. So I am going to do it. I know it kind of makes it look a little interesting, but... And then I guess we can do brakes just to keep the car light. Although, yeah, actually, yeah, let's just do it. We're pretty much fully upgrading the car. I mean, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, right, okay. Uh, speaking of fully upgrading, we're going to fully upgrade the drivetrain. All right, now one of the most important parts, obviously, is going to be grip. So let's see, we can put four... <laughs> oh my god, that is just so... It's got 375 stock, which I already think is one of the biggest tires you can get in the game, but you can put 425s. That looks so good. I just, I love, that's why I like hot rods, because you can put big tires on them. And you even put 265s in front. However, we're not going to do that. Um, and with drag slicks, oh, <laughs> this thing, oh, it looks good. That's all I can say. It looks real good. Sadly, the wheels that are on there right now are incredibly heavy. So, we're going to put different wheels on. However, I mean, it's kind of sad that we had to... I mean, those, those are good-looking wheels, you know? I think these look pretty good. They fit the overall kind of look. And they're rotas, so rotors are cool, because I own rotas. So I'm like, you know? And they're, they're light, so let's do it. Okay, so we can put a little front splitter on that really has, like, some bone... Uh, nah. Oh. Oh, that's an... Mm, uh. No, I don't think I want that. Nope. No, thank you. All right, so the livery I'm going for is this. It's like an old, classic, kind of rusted look. I think it's pretty clean. It makes it look cool. I don't have anything against the flames, but I think it's just a little bit too much. So, uh, <laughs> let's tune it, I guess. Oh my, that's just so... Oh, I love that buoy bell, right? So the 0 to 60 time is 2.4 seconds. That's quite good. I don't feel like this car is going to have trouble gripping up, but... I'm going to do my best to make that better. So we're going to lower the rear tire pressure, raise the front tire pressure. The gearing looks pretty good. I'm going to make it even because I could not stand 3.99. Alignment looks good. It does look quite soft, so I'm going to stiffen up the anti-roll bars a tad. Now for the... Oh my god. Wait a second. I have to slam this. I have to slam this. Oh my goodness. It's literally like on the ground. When it's... Oh wow. <laughs> this thing is so low. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't think that would be very practical, but that looks so good. Ugh, all right. Sadly, it makes us slower, so I will have to be raising the car back up again. So, yeah, raise the car back all the way up, and then I'm going to tighten the back. Stiffen the back, not tighten. What? And then soften the front. Honestly, this car can probably very easily do a wheelie just because it's so grippy in the back. 
Um, you know, let's see what happens if we make it a wheelie tune. I'm sure it will wheelie. And then I'm just gonna lock the diff and we should be good. We have a zero to 60 time of 2.3 seconds, a zero to 100 of 5.3 and a top speed of 180. So let's not slow, that's for sure. But I'd say let's go test it, eh? All right, here we are. This thing looks amazing. Let's listen to it. I'm, I'm excited for this. Oh, yes. Oh, that crackle. Oh, it's so, yeah, that sounds so good. And look at just the rear end. Those tires are so big. Well, that's not the only thing that's so big. I, Redline at like 7K. Oh my goodness, it didn't wheelie. Whoa, that was weird. I'm very surprised it not, what? Nope, I'm not gonna wheelie. And I know why, the reason is it's just such a light and low car. There's like almost no weight transfer and all the weight, speaking of which, is in the front. Like there's not much on the back wheels. So that's why it doesn't wheelie. Um, but it grips up just fine. So uh, it's like a 4K launch and What's crazy is we definitely still lose traction in the rear wheels. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is fast. <laughs> I'd say let's go ahead and light up these rear tires. <laughs> it's not hard to do. It's crazy, like, this thing only has 600 horsepower and it's got these incredibly big wheels. It feels so fast, though. It feels like it should be, like, 2,000 horsepower. I mean, this thing is doing a second gear burnout with no problem. And donuts. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Oh, god damn. <laughs> this thing pulls and it shifts really, really well. The power band is just so incredibly linear and powerful too. It feels very good and I feel like I never really lose that much time in between shifts. I'm not spending time trying to spool the turbos or anything like that. It it feels really fast for 600 horsepower. <laughs> it seems like 5K is the best place to launch it at. Yeah. But, ugh, it's so crazy. All right, real quick, we're gonna see what kind of times it can run. Just me, myself, and I. Ugh. It just feels so good. There's none of that like bouncing off the red limiter and like, eh, Jesus, <laughs> I choked on my Mountain Dew, but 9.7 for an A-class car, wow. Ha, <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It just, it goes, goes. That was, actually no, yeah, 9.7, wow. All right, let's do this one interior. It's, it's such a pleasure to drive. It's so easy to succeed and do well with because of those big tires. Except that was actually our worst time yet, so. All right, guys, let's see which is better, the Z28 or an old hot ride. New versus old. Oh, oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Bye, little Z28. Wow, that wasn't even close. And he's a higher PI than me, and that was our worst time. What? I don't know if I love the look of that Z28 or hate it, but it's very interesting. Let's do this again. <laughs> you know, on the launch, we're pretty even, but I feel like I'm either a lot lighter than him or I have more power. Probably the first, because I don't have that much power. 9.6, woohoo, best time yet. It's so like easy to launch. You don't have any troubles bogging down or losing too much. Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> He's so far back there. All right, Rari versus Hot Rod. I think this is gonna be pretty, e oh wow, actually he launched pretty well. Oh, bye, have a great time. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's so funny. It's like, Ferrari got beat by an old, old Hot Rod. All right, I'm gonna see what happens when I redline it. No, it was nothing special, although I'm shitting on my shifting. But I'm still gone. <laughs> yes. All right, we've got a Shelby Raptor, we've got a Ford GT, and a Hellcat. 
This is an American lineup. Damn, that Raptor looks sick, but oh, I'm gone again. Oh, it's it's closer. It's a little closer. No, actually, I'm not even sure. <laughs> that thing's so fast. I mean, look at the size comparison between these two things. I think it's actually pretty low, though. All right, I'm gonna give him an entire second head start. All right, come on. Come on, little... Uh, I forgot what it's called. Oh god, no! The hell... No, alright, I beat the Hellcat, but... The Shelby actually did pretty good. I think this might be the fastest A-class drag car. Um, but that Shelby looks sick, dude. Alright. <laughs> I mean, look! It's like, it's not even that close. It really isn't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if some S-class cars can beat the Bone Shaker. We've got a Dart Hemi, a Bugatti, and an upgraded Hellcat, all of which are a good 50 PI above us, so let's see what happens. I'm definitely not gonna beat all these cars. I just wanna beat some of them. Oh, yep, that one's gone, okay. Come on, oh, oh, it's me and the Hellcat, we're so even. No, he's got so much more power though. Oh, he's gone, damn. That Hellcat and I were, whew. I still got like second out of all these cars, so that's crazy. I just want to be the Hellcat, though, you know? Oh, wow. Never mind. It launched really well that time. Holy shit. I mean, we're even until fourth gear. Fourth gear, he starts pulling. Oh, no! No, the VTEC! Ah! <laughs> that Hellcat, like, almost does a wheelie. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to pull in front of him. That way he can't pull. Yes! Nope. 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 Yeah! <laughs> yes! I did it! I did it! Alright, we're back to some A-class cars. We got a pretty beefy lineup here. Come on! Go, car, go! Oh, I'm in first! Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Oh, yeah. They're gone. Bye-bye. I think that Ford Bronco will actually be faster if it can manage to not do a wheelie, because it does a massive wheelie. Oh, I'm sorry. Did not mean to do that. Oh, yeah. See, look at that thing. Come on. No. Oh, it's so even. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. He was two hundredth of a second behind. Oh. Oh, no. That was too big of a wheelie for him. Yes. <laughs> that thing is so crazy. But, I mean, I'm still the fastest. Oh, it's, it's so good. All right, we've got a full lobby here. Eight of the fastest A-class drag cars. Can I do it? Can I be the fastest? Come on. All right, I'm in first. Oh my God, I'm I'm so much faster. <laughs> I thought it was, oh God, I don't know what happened back. <laughs> oh, this thing though. They had some, uh, some crashes back there though, so I hope I can keep it up. Oh god, that truck does a wheelie. I pulled it on the truck though. Come on. Oh, it's me and the truck actually. Oh, but. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I think there are too many people for such a small space. Everyone keeps crashing. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Oh, god damn, that truck gets off the line so quickly. Oh no, and the Bronco's there. Ah, uh, but it's not quite, it's not quite enough. Oh, <laughs> boom, boys. Fastest A-class drag car right here. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the fastest A-class drag car. I'm almost, I'm almost positive. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It just, it weighs so little. It's got a, it's got a good amount of power and it grips up really well. So, it, it's just, it's good. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. But as always, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Really, really helps me out. And uh, check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat in the description below. We hit a 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is really cool. So thank you all for that. Uh, as I said earlier, comment which car you want from the car pack next. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. I didn't even get to oh. Oh, I did it! Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, it's so close. <laughs> We're so even in the straightaway. But you've got the inside line. Oh, I'm sorry.